you mean the Sambisa forest where you were kidnapped yes. with Shekwa, mm. the Boko Haram commander? Red Cross Society would come there to give you both food. They are coming, actually, and that place is not is not uh, as you as you, uh, uh, as you know that uh, Kasama Sambisa. It's light is there. Eh? Light is there. There's light. Yes, there's pump. There's pump. Uh, that, uh, uh, there's market, big market. There's yeah. market. Yes, so, so people will enjoy. Yeah, so that that, that, that place is not uh, uh, as you see, as you hear that it's a Mesa for No, the place is very, very, as is built with a uh, big wall there. There's a very big wall surrounding yeah. it. Yeah, that uh, that that man, the, the, the time that she was a uh, president, Ibrahim Abangida, she's the one who round that place with a uh, uh, with a wall. There's enough food. Enough food. Seriously, enough food, sir. <laughs> but <laughs> as we see, some what other things where people were enjoying there? Huh? What other thing where people were enjoying? Yeah, we are enjoying. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are working together and talking together. But you are not talking any word except Arabic. Or if you're not here, here, here Arabic, you talk in Hausa. But you are. But you are not allowed to talk in English. Yeah. So you are not allowed to speak in oh, no, 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 because it's haram. A man that escaped from Boko Haram's captive have come out to expose the Boko Haram operation and the Nigeria government. The things he exposed about the Nigeria government is really serious. So I need you to pay serious attention to everything he has to say. Please do me a favor, share it on all social media platforms, share with your friends and loved ones. Everybody needs to hear this because this is really serious. I weep for our country, Nigeria. I really weep for our country, Nigeria. The things happening in this country, Nigeria, eh? Only God can save us in this country. Please don't forget, like the video right now and drop a comment. By doing this, it triggered YouTube Agode to continue to recommend this video to more people. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. I have good news for you. This revival you see will not be aborted. This man was kidnapped by Boko Haram in 2014. How many of you remember the story of how Boko Haram kidnapped Chibok girls? They wanted him to be a teacher in Sambisa Forest. And he's going to share his story today. So can you tell us what happened? Yes. In 2014, I was in school. Boko Haram came to, came to me. They say that they will take me to Sambisa to be their teacher in Sambisa. So from that, I have nothing to, 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 to say. I just agree. They take me to, Boko, uh, to, to, to Sambisa. They, 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 they give me one, one, one room aside. They put me inside that room about three, three weeks ago. I didn't get anything. They only give me water to drink. I spent Three weeks without taking food, without taking bath. So they take me out. They said, "Okay, let's go, go, go to our elder. That is uh, their commander. We call Shekau. So we went there. They said that, look at this uh, man. She's a teacher from another state. He, she, he, uh, he's a teacher. So we bring him here to teach our children." I even check her with uh, Shekau. She said, you are welcome. I said, uh, uh, thank you, sir. We check her very well. So from there, one of their uh, 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 commander called uh, Bana from Bama. He come to me. He said, okay, madam, uh, so tomorrow you are going to start our, uh, your, your teaching. I said, okay, sir, thank you. They give me chalk. And they give me the the, the 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 textbook that I'm going to teach. So he took me there, and from there I I saw that girl that I told you, that uh, Gladys. I saw her there. So as I enter the class, they will stand up and say, "Salam alaikum." That is greeting. I say alaikum salam. I I say, "Julius." That is sit down. The seat. So that man, he is supervising me. How can I go to start this teaching? Huh? I write on the board. Bismillah uh, Rahman Rahim. I write on the board. But in the name of the Father, I, I write it. Then I start explaining. I write alphabet in, in the with a language of uh, uh, Arabic. I write it. Uh, but as, uh, up to Z in 
Arabic language. Then man, man says, he laughed to me, says that, yes, you are really a fine teacher, but you are, we, are, we are not going to leave you to go. You are here since, uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are you are here up to your date here. I said, no, no, no problem, sir. I agree. Wait, I'm trying to understand. Okay, so they told you you'll be here till you, yes. till you die. Mm. That you are going to, okay, they brought him to a classroom to yes. test yeah. his proficiency if he can actually write in Arabic. Yes. Because they wanted him to teach the students in yes. the Sambisa forest yes. Arabic. Yes, sir. Now, I'm curious, does Boko Haram have any issues with mathematics and English? No, 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 sir. Then why were they angry at you that you were teaching mathematics and English? That is that is the, they say is uh, is is bad is, that that's haram. That is the that is Boko Haram. This Boko is actually when you are teaching or you are a teacher or you are working, you are a policeman, you are a soldier, whatever you are, what, what whatever you are, if you are not speaking uh, Arabic language, you are not teaching a religion that is uh, Arabic. Is what all what you are doing is haram. Okay, I'm trying to understand something here. A lot of us might not know what Boko Haram means. I think Boko means Western education. Yeah. And then Haram means forbidden. Yes. So what it stands for is that Western education is forbidden. And they were angry at him that why is he teaching English and mathematics? Why is he not teaching Arabic? That was when he was adopted and they kept him there for three weeks. He did not beat, he did not eat any food. He was only drinking water. How did you survive for three weeks without food? Yes, sir. This is how they give me that, 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 that punishment. So, after three weeks, one woman called Fatima, she brought me small food and uh, soup. She said, look at this is this food i'm the one who broke it but not their wish i just hide this food for you because i'm a human being human being cannot live without eating food but don't 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 tell you i'm the one who being did for you so she hiding it inside there that, that we call a gown she hiding it then she bring it for for me she begging me, don't tell them that I'm the one who give you this food. I say no. She begging, she she begging me seriously. Wait, but how did you survive three weeks without food? It's unbelievable if you ask me. No. You you you, I? you survive three weeks without yes. food. Yes, I three, three weeks without food, any any water. God who made me. Wow. <laughs> you went through a lot. Yes. So. So you started teaching them. Yes. I'm, t- I- I'm teaching them with this hunger. When you started teaching them, they began to feed you, right? Yes. When they, they began to feed me, so they carried me to other room. They, they transferred me from that room to other room. Near, 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 near commander called Shekau. Mm-hmm. So from there, if in the morning, all of us in the morning, we are used to go to that place and greet that man. If you see that man, Shekam, you know, you are not believe that man. He's a, he's a, he's a Boko, Boko, Boko Haram. He's very jovial. He's playing and he's talking jovial to you, and he's not talking something bad for you. No. He doesn't shout. He doesn't angry. get angry. No, 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 no. He's very friendly. Very, very friendly. You see, she said, "You, uh, you are a very good man. We are going to stay for you ever and ever. You are going nowhere, and we are going to put a watchman for you. That is." To, 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 to guide me. They put two, two men eh, as, a, as, a, as a watchman. To make sure you don't escape. Yes. So I told them, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going any, 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 anywhere. And you told them that you're not going anywhere? Yes. That you stay? Yes. You started enjoying the place? Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> for a, sir, actually that, 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 that place, actually, I'll let it tell you, actually, actually, to go to me, me. That place, huh? Hi. If it is that that that, that place, and even these people, they are they are, they are coming to us. That 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 Red Cross. They are coming. Give us food. Give us clothes. Red Cross used to come there. Yes, exactly. They used to go. They used to come there, and give us clothes. And wait, give, wait, wait. You mean the Sambisa Forest, where you were kidnapped? Yes. With Shekwa, yeah. the Boko Haram commander. Red Cross Society would come there to give you both food. They are coming, actually, and that place is not is not uh, as you as you uh, uh, as you know that uh, it's that is there. 
Eh? Light is there. There's light. Yes, there's pump. There's pump. Uh, that, uh, there's market. Big market. There's yeah. market. Yes. So, so people will enjoy. Yeah. So that that, that, that place is not uh, as you see, as you hear that it's a music for no. The place is built as is built with a uh, big wall there. There's a very big wall surrounding yeah. it. Yeah, that uh, that that man, the, the, the time that she was a uh, president, Ibrahim Abangida, she's the one who round that place with a uh, uh, with a wall. There's enough food. Enough food. Seriously, enough food, sir. <laughs> but <laughs> as we see, some what other things where people were enjoying there? Huh? What other thing where people were enjoying? Yeah, we are enjoying. We are we are we are we are we are working together and talking together. But you are not talking any word except Arabic. Or you, if you're not here, here, here Arabic, you talk in Hausa, but you are, but you are not allowed to talk in English. Yeah. You are not allowed to speak English. Uh, no, 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 no. Because it's haram. Okay. They don't promote English. Ah, uh, no, no, no. They don't. They what don't. are some things that Boko Haram don't tolerate? No. Hi. Sir, so, these people, if they catch you that you are taking cigarette, they'll, they'll shoot you. Cigarette? Mm, they'll shoot you down. If they take you, if they, they, they say you are telling lie, something is not correct that you, that, that, that you thought lie. If they but if I did that did this uh, what, what what you're saying is lie they'll shoot you so they have very serious yes, discipline yes, exactly I also heard that if you put on clothes like this you are not supposed to wear English cap actually that you if see, you also wear trousers the yeah. trousers should stop yes, here like, like this you see this is how this is, this is how, okay. how how, how they are, they are there. So and I can't wear trousers that stop no, here and if it's a shoe I can't wear this kind no, of shoe no Actually, oh. mm. the shoe that they, they want, that uh, the the one that a uh, 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 people use, or boot. But if you if if you see them dressing, if you don't understand, if if you see them dressing, huh, you think that they are they are army. But the difference is only in this thing, they are they have the something to round their hair, their their head. That's the, that, that's the difference between them and soldier. But they have camouflage and the boot. And they have many, 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 many guns. Sir. They have Mac 4, B3. Any, 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 any gun, or any wicked, wicked uh, gun. The people, they, 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 they have it. How are they getting this gun? Actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't know where are the people that get, get, get that gun. In the camp, did they give you any uh, human? No, 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 no. They didn't give you any human? Uh, no. They, they told me that you are, you are not going to give you wife here. Till we see your attitude, or till 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 we see how you are woman here, then 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 we are good. Then we are give you wife there. So that man called Suman Buba came to me say, "Malam eh, get ready." I said, "What? Get ready. I want you to go out today." I said, "How?" I said, "No. They are planning to kill you." But I don't want two civilians to kill you. They are planning to kill you. So get ready. As you, as you are my teacher, I'm not allowed anybody to kill you here. If I I, I, I allow it, God, God, God will punish me. I said, thank you. He gave me shirt and he gave me food for a, a shoe. I wear it. He covered me with machine. Actually, that way. I never, never see that type of forest in my life. So this, uh, this man convey me with machine, sir. Huh? He speak like, 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 like on the, uh, uh, like, 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 like on uh, uh, Meron. Then we had, we are, we are, we are, we are need to enter Gaza. Then he dropped me. I don't know that place. I'm just walking. So as I'm coming, I saw Amis. He said, stop there. Stop. Stop. See Boko Haram, stop there. Hands up. I, I said, my, 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 my hands are. Actually, they come. They even afraid to come uh, cl cl close to me. <laughs> you see? They check me. They, they asked me to pull my uh, uh, shirt. I threw off. Throw off my, your trouser. I threw off. Only I with my uh, 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 nika. They check me. Everything. Then they asked me to go other other place i got that uh other 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 army they say okay hands up hands up 
I said, who are you before? I told him, I'm a teacher before. You're a teacher before, eh? Why are you following people? I said, no, it's not, it's not my wish. They, 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 they clap me and they, and, they, and they want to kill me. They said, if I do not follow them, they, 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 they will shoot me. That's why I uh, follow them. So, from where are you? I said, no, I, I'm, I'm from Madagali, local, local government. And, 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 and where you are, uh, wife? I don't, I don't know. I spent three months and two weeks there. So I don't know. How long did you spend in the forest? Three months. Okay, you only spent three months there. Three months, yes. And you escaped. Yes, that, that man helped me. If no, sir, actually, I, I, will, I will die there. They will not, they will not, they will not allow me. So that's how the army rescued you? Yes. So fr- from there, army, they give me water, I take bath, they give me food, I eat, then they give me clothes, I I removed that, that one, then they give me new shoe and they, that, then they hand it over to Madagali, from Goza to Madagali. That uh, army from Madagali, they take me straight to my village, Shiwa, where I teach and where, where, where's my house. They carry me straight to my uh, uh, district head, Mustafa. He said, yeah, this, 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 this is our teacher here. And he, took, uh, he came by Boko Haram about three months so days ago say yes so from there they take me from that sh- uh, shua they, 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 they take me to mubi 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 camp from mubi camp they ask me from where, uh, from where are you? i say from like a local government where are your family but i don't know so one man here that um, i'm from mubi camp they they send my wife to 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 to, to, to come and check me my wife come he said that she, she, she wants to see somebody, his name is uh, Saadu. Saadu, eh, from where? From like, a local government. Why I ask her? Yeah, it's my husband. Your husband, eh? Your husband, eh? Okay, go, come. My wife enter. As she saw me, I saw her. We grab ourselves. She's crying, I'm crying. I, yeah. She's crying, I'm crying. I say, how, how are children? They're all fine. But he, he, she told me that they, 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 they already killed your father. They killed your dad. Yes, my, uh, also his he, uh, his picture here with me. So this is how I uh, escaped from Boko Haram. One man that I taught him as a teacher. He is my student, Usman Buba. He is the one who escaped from Boko Haram, sir. If not, I don't think uh, I don't think I will uh, escape from Boko, Boko Haram because. All the children, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they enjoy me, and they are, and they are like me. And this was in 2014. Yes, 2014. Hmm. Wow. What a story. Honestly, yes. uh, I, 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 that, that, that why I tell you that maybe I'm going to be some something in this Adam State, sir. These people, they they killed four, four teachers with gun. I said no, don't, 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 don't kill them. Also, their t-shirt. Let's uh, take them to some visa. Don't get, say no. These people, they are, they are, they are not, they are, they are, they are not good people. They shoot them. They, they shoot them down. Four. And 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 one woman. That 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 that, that woman. Actually, they meet her with a what what do you call it? A, that a burkutu. That a local beer, Ogoro. She say hey. What, what 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 is this? That's me. Say no. This is a local beer called Gogoro. What? Gogoro? Eh, haram? Cow? The, the shooter here. She, she fell down. She so do to, this is this, this is very 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 bad indeed. Very very bad. So are you taking it? No 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 no. I say I I I I not taking it. I I I don't know how they get. It. I don't know how they cook it. Sir, if I lay down, I cannot sleep. If I wake up, I can, and I even I said uh, no. Then let let these people kill me. Wow! <laughs> because it is it is God that yes. it is God that because saved I don't you. Know what I'm doing? You see, God has saved I don't know anybody there, and 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 and, and also, I am totally confused. Hmm. Yes. Thank so, God. Thank God for your safety. Yes, sir. So this is how I escaped from Boko Haram, sir. But actually, I suffered a lot. I suffered. 
three weeks without eating anything that they are giving me a punishment. Why I teach mathematics and English? May God protect all of us. Um, I don't know what to say, you know. I don't know what else to say. So, um, I've, I've looked around this environment. It seems a lot of people here don't really have food to eat. So tomorrow, if I can come in the morning, I'll come to get some food provisions. If I can't come, Abdu, you'll go to the market and buy something, then share for everybody. This is my, 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 my son. And, and I have a son that called Abdu. Oh, you have a son called Abdu? Yes. Oh, Abdu. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this very episode. You know, he went to work as a teacher. Um, but unfortunately, he ended up unfortunate, I would say. He was kidnapped. He was tortured. But luckily, he escaped. And today, he's sharing his story to the world. Um, I don't even know what to say. I absolutely have no comments other than asking everyone to be security conscious. Thank you so much for watching this very episode. Let's say bye to the viewers. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. I'm sure you have listened to everything this man has said. I'm sure that he paid serious attention to all he has said concerning Boko Haram and the Nigeria government. You see, if you listen to some of all these things, you, you begin to ask yourself that what is now the future of Nigeria? Where are we heading to as a country? This is the, exactly the same question I'm asking myself. Where are we heading to as a country? Because imagine what our own government, people that should be looking out for us, imagine what they are doing. Just imagine what they are doing. It is just too painful. It is it is sad. Look at what this man has exposed, like has said concerning the Nigeria government. After watching this video, eh, I would have shed tears because of what this man exposed about our Nigeria government. I don't know why things are like this in the country. And I always say this, and I will keep saying it. Why is it that our churches cannot come together and pray and intercede for this, our country, Nigeria? Because I, I have always said this, if you have been following me on this channel, if people like Papa E. Adeboye, Bishop Edeko, Pastor Chris, and all the rest, they come together and pray for this our country nigeria i don't think this country will remain the same i don't think all these things will be happening why why are things happening like this in the country they treat people like 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 they treat us like we don't have sense they treat us like we are animals like we are useless this is totally bad and unacceptable it is really bad the man revealed that he was kidnapped and asked to come and teach buku around people or people that was captured by Buku Haram. And that the things he saw, the things going on, the Buku Haram we are seeing today, government people, government are the ones sponsoring them. That is what he was practically saying. Why? How? That is why you ask yourself this question. Why is it that government is struggling to shut down Buku Haram operation? Is it that Buku Haram they are stronger than government? No. They are not stronger than government. It is because they don't want to shut them down. Look at the things they are saying. Look at, we move from Boko Haram, we enter to full, we enter full and enhancement, we enter bandits. Every time it is one problem to another. It's not like our government don't know what to do. It's not like they don't have the power and the capacity to shut them down. It is because they don't want to do it. They know what is going on. Is, this is just so sad and painful. This is just so sad. And if you have been following what have been going on early this year, Papa E. Adebe revealed that some top secrets will be exposed. I guess this is just one of them. This is just one of them. If you have not listened to Papa E. Adebe saying that, saying that, talking about the secrets that we are, will be exposed, just pay attention to what he has to say. Listen to what Papa E. Adebe have to say. Talking about Nigeria, because the wind is blowing, some serious secrets will come to the open. 
I'm sure you have listened to everything Papa E Adebo have said. He said that some top secrets are going to be exposed. Look at it. A few weeks ago, we heard Ali Kodangote talking about uh, uh, paying a million dollars to Lagos State government for, for the land he used for his refinery. We also heard him saying that some government officials and NNPC people, they also have a, a refinery in mortar. We heard all these things. These are top secrets, but nobody is doing anything about it. Just listen to We Are Dangote saying it. I'm just going to play play that clip for you briefly, shortly, so that you hear all these things for yourself and see the type of things happening in this our country, Nigeria. In the wars of China, Chebe, indeed there was a country because we don't even know the direction this country is heading to again. Listen to what Dangote have to say. This one, when we go ahead, we will say more. We will say more in the sense that. Uh, you know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminals, some of the NNPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened uh, a blending plant somewhere off uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. It's not that we don't know. You heard what I said. In the refinery, we did not, and I repeat, we did not collect one single incentive from the federal government of Nigeria or from even the Lagos state of Nigeria. Yes, Lagos said maybe they gave us a good deal, but we paid $100 million for the land. It wasn't a free land. I'm sure you have heard all these things. So now I want you to tell me, where are we going to as a country? What is the direction? What are we going to do next as the citizens of this country? Because it seems that we are inside water and soap is entering our eyes. What are we going to do? We have tried everything. We have tried protest. Protest did not work. We have tried everything. That is why I'm encouraging us that we should try prayer. If I say let us pray for our country in Nigeria, some people will be insulting me in the comment section, but I don't care. That is because I believe in the power of prayer. Prayer is one important tool we can use to combat some of the things happening in this country, Nigeria, because the country is going backward. It's not stagnated. It is going backward. So we need to do something about it. The country is dying. The country is dying. Today you hear this problem, tomorrow that problem. Every day one problem or the other. <laughs> Even a country that is cursed, it's not like this. It's not like this. This country can be one of the best nations in the world, one of the best countries in the world, but because of corruption, because of corruption, that is why you are seeing this country like this. Look at price of fuel. Look at price of common tomato. Those days when I was growing up, if people see you drinking gare, they will say, oh, this person is poor, this person don't have food, or this person don't. But right now, if you are drinking gare, you are a rich man. Gare is not like gold. Gare is very expensive. A person of gare, go and price. Go and price gare right now. How many people can afford to eat gare three times a day? It is that serious. So this country, let us pray for our country, let us pray for Nigeria. I will always say this, Nigeria is the only country we have. You may have dual citizenship, you may come from another country, but me, it is only Nigeria. After Nigeria, it is still Nigeria. I don't have another place I'm going to. That is why I'm encouraging all of you to do well to intercede and pray for this our country, Nigeria. Before one day we wake up and we hear that they have sold all of us. It is too bad. It is too bad. So please, I'm encouraging us, put aside religion, put tribe aside, put your political affiliation, forget whether you are in Labour Party, APC, PDP, put all those things aside and let us pray and intercede for this country to save our country. If you will not do it for yourself, do it for your children and the next generation. Because we cannot bring in children to allow them to witness this nonsense we are seeing right now. It is, it is too bad. The country is totally messed up. Right now, to send their children to school, look at look at school fees. Transportation right now, so the places that we used to pay 30 naira, 50 naira to now, right now it is now 150 naira. And we are all folding our hands, acting as if nothing is wrong. Yes, we have tried protests. Why not try prayer? That same energy we put in insulting, insulting me, you people put in insulting me for saying that we should pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us channel that, that same energy and pray for this country and see the outcome. Some of you may say, oh, we have been praying for the country. Prayer does No, have you prayed intentionally for this country? Have you been intentional about praying for the country? 
Is it the one you say, Father? No, 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 no. That why you are not doing this prayer with Nigeria in mind. Because that is what it has resulted to. I told people that in Nigeria, we pray for what the government of, of other countries do for them. That is what we pray for. You will be traveling, you will be praying for safety. When we have police and army, you because of what Buku Aram bandits, you don't know what the one that will attack you on the way. You will be traveling, you'll be you, in fact we pray for both good road. We pray for everything, we pray for light. You want to do occasion, you'll be praying for light. It is too bad. It is too bad. So please let us pray and intercede for our country, Nigeria. It's the things happening in the country is just too bad. This thing I heard right now, it's I don't know how to just feel about it. It is just it is just sad. It is just sad. Please pray for our country in Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you turn the subscribe, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget. Share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and love them. By doing this, you trigger the YouTube and God to continue to recommend this video to more people. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next video. You are blessed. what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.